Praise God, praise God. I greet you in the name of the Most High Lord Jesus Christ. Today I'm going to talk to you about uh, digging deep in the scriptures part 3. In the last uh, episode, which is uh, part 2, I talked about digging deep in the scriptures with respect to asking, knocking, and uh, seeking the Lord in the scriptures. And for this particular section, uh, I'm going to give us some some light on what it means to dig deep and how the Lord comes to our aid. A practical example. Uh, in the book of Psalms 139 verses 1 to 4, uh, Psalm written by David, he did state that the Lord knows our sitting down and standing up, and he knows our thoughts from afar. And this right just quite rightly link into the book of Acts chapter uh, 8 verses 26 to 40 we, where an Ethiopian eunuch was actually reading the scriptures and he came to a particular section in that uh, scripture uh, verses 32 where he read and said let, let me read it quickly and it says the place of the scripture which the, which he read was this he was led as a sheep to the slaughter and like a lamb dumb before his sharer so open he not his mouth the Ethiopian eunuch is the, he is the treasure of the queen of Ethiopia you can imagine his position he looks after the affairs of the queen so Whilst he was reading this from afar, the angel of the Lord appeared to Philip, one of the believers. I read, that is in verse 26 of chapter eight, uh, chapter 8 of the book of Acts. It says, And the angel of the Lord spoke unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert. Immediately he arose and went. That was when he met the Ethiopian reading that particular section of the Bible. And he asked the, the Ethiopian, do you understand what you're reading? The Ethiopian said no, except someone would interpret or tell him what it is. The, he, further, he went on further to ask. Is, does him, is, he asked, is the writer, which is Isaiah himself, talking about himself or about someone? That was when Philip used the opportunity to preach the gospel unto him, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and gave him the conditions under which one could be born again. And immediately, whilst they were on the way, the eunuch saw the water and said, what, is there any reason why you shouldn't baptize me? And immediately, he was baptized. Just after the baptism, the Lord took Philip to a different town. Just like that. Right now we have the Holy Ghost who will teach us all things according to the scriptures. He said, Christ said when he leaves, he will send the, the comforter to, who will teach us all things by person of the Holy Spirit. So brethren, in a nutshell, when we search the scriptures and our desire to learn matches what God has for us to learn at that particular point in time, we won't struggle. He would send help. The Holy Ghost said, we shouldn't think of what to say because he would say it. So brethren, when we search the scripture, let us search diligently. You know, that is the only way we would begin to apply the basic principles of the scriptures because the Bible itself is the basic instruction for living life on earth. Brethren, I, I thank you for listening to this and I encourage you to subscribe to my video so that you you get notification of any new videos that are coming i endeavor to do one video in a week as the lord leads and be, be blessed share perhaps someone as they might be struggling to understand this particular part of the scripture you might have blessed someone if you share god bless you thank you so much for your time and i speak to you next week god permitting thank you